Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 5 for the 2016 to 2017 academic year with me Craig Barton. Well what a treat I have for you this week. Brockington College Maths Homework Books uploaded by Payphone. Now make sure you sat down for this one because this is flipping amazing. Um, I think it was last year I shared another homework collection that a kind and generous teacher had, had shared with us on TES. And this is a perfect complement uh, to that. It really is phenomenal. I know I'm building this up a little bit, and it could be a massive anticlimax, but I, I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, the first thing I'll say is, uh, once you log in and you download this, use this kind of bulk download feature on TES because uh, there are 33 files. Because what this kind teacher has done, has sh uh, they've shared their entire homeworks that they've written for their school year seven year eight year nine year 10 foundation 10 higher 11 foundation and 11 higher and they are absolutely superb so let's just take a look at these and then let's just have a little talk about how we can use them so this is the year seven term one at homework now the first thing i like is that every single homework fits nicely onto a, a single side of a4 and i know that seems sounds like quite a small thing but the way we do homeworks in our school is we have the big a4 books and we stick the homework on the left hand side and the kids do the working out on the right hand side and this lends itself perfectly to uh to that kind of format uh, cut these out, print these out in A4, trim around the edges, stick them in the book, kids do the working out on the right hand side, write their answers in the left hand side. So that's the first thing I like. The second thing is the questions. Now these are what we would call in our school essential skills homeworks and again there's no surprise why they're called that because these are tackling all the key skills that the uh, kids should know and I really like the fact that each homework kind of builds on the other, still testing the same key skills. You'll see this lowest common multiple, highest common factor keep coming and back but they get progressive more difficult as we as we go through the year and it just keeps reinforcing these key skills and allowing kids to develop and pick up on mistakes and so on and if I go to the bottom of these homeworks you'll see uh, we've got a lovely little tracking sheet here so again you can either have these in the kids files or stuck in the books or wherever they want and you'll notice here look each of the questions covers a specific topic so the kids can track how well they do at it and you can see whether they've got any areas of weakness and so on and the kids are taking a bit of ownership over their own learning and then so a nice little table here if the kids have got targets um, from homework one you can write it down here so they can try and match it for homework two and that is just year seven not even touch year nine yet so year nine follows the exact same format but obviously the questions are more difficult so we get things on sequences we're getting factorizing we're getting bid mass still with an emphasis on these key skills fractions look at that how many times do we have to reteach this well hopefully with these homeworks once the kids have done a year's worth of them they'll be good to go and uh, yeah look lovely little uh, fractions equivalent question uh, equivalent fraction questions more patterns and sequences and so on and again at the bottom we're going to have that same tracking sheet i'll just show you one more um, and then i'll stop kind of banging on about these and start talking about how uh, how we might use them let's have a look here year 11 term 2 higher so we're going to get some tricky stuff here but still focusing on those key essential skills now this is where the format slightly changes because we've got uh, more longer form questions here so we've got um, substituting numbers to draw quadratic equations we've got cumulative frequency mean for estimated mean and then look at this we now get an exam question chucked into the mix here and then again we get the same 20 skill based questions and now we're getting an exam based question thrown into the mix absolutely phenomenal stuff absolutely phenomenal stuff so how are we going to use these well it'll be no surprise that using them as homework might be a decent idea and um, as i say we use um something similar but i think we're going to adopt this for for this school year we have an essential skills homework which the kids get every single week um, and it's supposed to be a quick 10 or 20 question homework that's easy for us to mark and picks up on these key skills and then we'll set more longer form homeworks every two weeks which will be more exam based question style homeworks so this would fit perfectly into that but also th this is useful to have up your sleeve um, for extension work or support work as I say it's got everything across the full year group but it crucially it doesn't say the year on the top so if for example you've got a year 9 uh, student or a year 9 class who's struggling then give them a year 8 sheet support sheet to pick up on their areas of weakness and so on and likewise if you if you've got a year 9 kid who's flying try them out on a year 10 sheet just to see how they get on with that so it's perfect for that it's also ideal 
these questions because they're in word format just to edit and copy and paste and build into your own worksheets or your own assessments however you want or project up at the front of a class during a lesson halfway through a lesson or whatever for a bit of extra a bit of an extra question um, and the final thing I'll say that this this comes into play and I think this is often an underrated thing and um, it's for cover work and I've been there myself when a, a member of uh, our department will uh, will email or text in in the morning saying I'm not in can you set some cover work or I'm a, I myself will be called away to a meeting or something like that you've got to quickly come up with something well aren't these just ideal for cover work absolutely perfect they're essential skills just set one of these for your class 20 questions just say I need full working out um, or set two of them, a year eight one and a year nine one for a year 10 class or something like that. And there you've got some ready-made cover work. Now I know what you're all thinking. This is probably one of the best things I've ever seen, not just maths related, just in your life in, in general, as I am. I'd love there to be some answers. Well, I've, I've bad news and good news for you on that front. There are no answers provided here because obviously um, students at, at Brockington College will be able to download them and so on. But the author has kindly said, send them a message on Twitter and they will, uh, they will email or direct message their answers to you. So literally, life does not get much better than this. One of the best resources I have seen on my however many years, six years as Tes Maths uh, resource, Tes Maths advisor, absolutely phenomenal stuff. Get it downloaded and, and also come back onto this page and just share a comment just to say thanks because this is, a, is essentially a life's work here which is just being uploaded and given away for free and shared around and it's phenomenal stuff. So, hope you enjoyed that and I shall be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care. And bye for now.